Skillful performance in sport is about developing technical actions that can stand up to the pressure of competition. Athletes need to be able to make decisions to execute their technical skills at the right time and place. Decision making can be incorporated into training programs to make athletes better performers. Understanding skill acquisition helps coaches to work with their athletes to develop and control their skills and make them better performers in their sport. Let's take a look at decision making and anticipation skills. Decision making and anticipation are related and are both important elements in successful team sport performance. For example, every time a basketball player gets the ball, they must decide whether to pass, dribble, shoot, and do so in a matter of seconds. This is where anticipation plays an important role. Players with better decision-making skills are able to predict ahead of time what the best decision is likely to be based on their capacity to read the play. This skill is known as anticipation. The challenge for these athletes now becomes finding a way to continue enhancing these decision-making skills through a friendly, portable and non-fatiguing training program. A coach could train decision-making and anticipation skills by preparing a collection of video clips of match play situations and requiring the players to complete tasks such as predicting what the player with the ball should do at critical time points or by asking players to recall the patterns of play being executed. These strategies are thought to improve a player's ability to read the play. Video training is a great way for the players to improve their decision making skills and their anticipation skills and you don't need any fancy tools for it. Video training helps me predict what players will do and really improves my game. The difference between implicit and explicit learning is that with implicit learning, the athlete learns how to perform the skill but can't necessarily verbalise how they did it. Think back to when you first rode a bike. I bet you you can't describe how you ride, but I'm sure you can do it. In contrast, explicit learning is the more traditional method of instruction where the coach tells the athlete how to perform the skill, highlighting key coaching points. The first one is to fully extend your body in a streamlined position, including having your fingers and your toes fully extended. As a result, the athlete can certainly verbalise what they have to do, but not necessarily perform the skill any better than someone else. It's not always practical to tell an athlete nothing, so less is best. A good example of this is the use of an analogy or metaphor that summarises all the key points of a skill into one visual instruction or cue. This time I want you to streamline off the wall like an arrow. Sharp, fast and long. Implicit learning is beneficial for athletes because skills learned in this manner are more resistant to competition and retained more permanently by the athlete. You can also coach team skills implicitly. For example, if you want your basketball players to put up more three-point shooting attempts, introducing a rule that provides a team with an additional point each time a player attempts a three-pointer, that's certainly going to lead to more attempts. From an implicit learning perspective, players will start to recognise those situations when a three-point shot is likely to be successful and those situations when it won't work. Importantly, by using such a rule, the coach hasn't had to start by telling players the answer. Rather, the players have learned to discover the key information for themselves through the implicit guidance of the coach rather than explicit direction. By me introducing an extra point for when a player hits a three-point shot, they implicitly learn when and when not to attempt the shot. The results speak for themselves. In wrapping up, I want to reinforce that no matter what level of sport you're coaching, these techniques can be utilised. Ask yourself these questions. In your sport, what are the decision making and anticipation skills that are required? What activities could you use to train these in your sport? What are some examples of implicit and explicit learning in your sport?